Hi, I'm KK. Today, I would like to tell you how I have made use of Genie to answer the question, can I use all the wireless networks around me? There's a common perception that wireless capacity is scarce and in short supply. But this is not true. We are surrounded by abundant capacity. A cell phone is typically covered by five or more service providers, such as AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon. Within two miles of this hotel, there's over 700 registered antennas on 75 towers. At the same time, we are covered by 10 or more Wi-Fi networks. Yet, most of this network, if not all, is off limits to us. This is due to reasons like WPA password, long-term contracts, and so on. My research is, to, is aimed at changing this to allow users to use all the wireless networks around them. To explore the different techniques and strategies possible, I built a platform to test out the various ideas. Sure, I can build this in a lab. But how can I demonstrate this at scale? How can I convince others that we can actually deploy this in a realistic setting? For that, I make use of Genie. I took a slice in Genie, put my experiment on it, and run my experiment on a network that also carries production traffic. Let me take you to the site of that experiment today. There we have California. You will see the bay. That's the bay area. And this is Stanford University. Let me take you to the School of Engineering, where a Gini-enabled network is deployed. On the center of the map is the CS building. To the left is the EE building. On the top of the EE building, we have deployed a WiMAX base station. This base station is developed by Rutgers and NEC as part of Gini. At the same time, we have 90 wireless access points deployed throughout the School of Engineering. For today's experiment, for simplicity and clarity, we'll use seven of these access points in the CS building. This is where we're going to start the experiment. For today's experiment, we'll be streaming a video from a camera mounted in front of a golf cart using the wireless network that we have just described. Let me be very clear here, because things is going to get really complicated soon. We're going, to do, we're going to drive around the CS building on the golf cart, on the outside of the CS building on the golf cart. On the first round, we'll stream the video only using Wi-Fi networks, probably the same that you have in your network today. On the second round, we're going to use all the networks that we have around us, Wi-Fi and WiMAX in this case. Why can you tell me? <laughs> it's quite cool, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, let me iterate. What you see on the right screen is a visualization that will show you which network that the card is connected to. <laughs> and this is clearly live. <laughs> And you will see the golf cart position based on GPS. There will be some lag, but it should be good. TY, we can begin when you're ready. So what you see here are glitches. These glitches happen because as a Wi-Fi, as, as the cart moves on, if hands over from one Wi-Fi access point to another. For a moment there, there was no connection. See, you get pulses like this. And this is how we do this today. And you get huge interruption. We have no idea what TY is seeing at this moment. Absolutely. This is bad. This is what we will get today. And imagine FaceTime with this. You wouldn't use this. This is the reason why we don't stream video from a moving vehicle today.
here we have another interruption and that's not big and that's just recovered so we have lost a whole stretch of the video just simply because we were handing over from one wireless access point to another don't knock down the student either way <laughs> okay in the next round we're going to make use of all the wireless networks around us. The WiMAX base station, the Wi-Fi, and we're going to use some, them simultaneously at the same time. And TY, if you're ready, we can go. This might not be perfect, but you will see a significant improvement. Hopefully, we'll see. Let's go. We saw some glitches here, nothing too bad now. Smooth video. And it's real life, we are using three connections. If you look at the right screen, two Wi Fi and one Wi Max. We are streaming the videos simultaneously upon three networks. And here we have, we are streaming the video continuously and seamlessly. You might notice some glitch here, but that's because of the low bit rate while we are streaming, right? We are streaming across the continent after all. Can't really pump it up. Here we have seen an entire stretch that you did not see just now. <laughs> Beautifully, and the FedEx truck has moved on, apparently, too. And as you see, this was smooth video. Exactly what we want as end user. We don't really care which network we use, we want this quality. This is what we want. This is technology that works. PY, thanks. That was great. So what you have just seen is how we have made use of Genie network to use multiple of the wireless network that we have today to stream, smoothly stream video. I'm tempted to say this is not perfect because we know it's never perfect. We can always improve it. Using a Genie enabled network, other researchers can take what I have built today and the technique that you have seen, just seen, improve upon it and create new technologies that we do not have today. The ultimate beneficiary is all of us who will one day be able to use all the wireless networks around us. Thank you.